Welcome back to the Kelloland High School Football Preview Show. Viberg Hurley secured its first championship as a co-op last November, winning the 9AA crown and enters the new season as the team to beat. The Cougars are the unanimous number one in the prep media preseason poll. Bonham and Lemon McIntosh are tied for second, followed by Duell and Hamlin. Viberg Hurley enters the season as the favorite in 9AA as they only lost four starters from their state title team. With one of the state's top quarterbacks and Chase Mason being back, along with plenty of weapons including Angel Johnson, Tate Kessler, Hayden Gilbert, and Grant Mickelson, the Cougars offense could even be more explosive than last year. Well, we got a lot of speed. I mean, we can score on teams pretty fast. I mean, we got a lot of guys that are running a good 40 times, and we got a lot of strength, too. And we can just score on teams pretty fast. Just the versatility that we have with uh, mixing up different things, uh, things that look similar, and then it's different in different play sets and stuff like that. So just versatility in all different types of offenses. Viberg Hurley opens its title defense on Friday against Corsica Stickney. Bonham's quest to defend its 2018 state crown came to an end in the title game against Viberg Hurley. The Cavaliers lost standout running back Noah Heesh for this season due to a knee injury and will be on their fourth starting quarterback in as many years as Josh Boots crown over graduated and is now playing for USD. We got Riley that'll rotate, played some in that state championship game. He's got some good experience and uh, he's a three, four, five sport guy, you know, kind of like Boots was. And, uh, I think he'll fill in there nicely. The Cavaliers host Platt Geddes Friday night. Lemon McIntosh made it to the state semifinals last year before falling 32-26 to to eventual state champion Viberg Early. The Cowboys lost three starters on each side of the ball, but returned plenty of talent on defense, along with All-State Honorable Mention quarterback Cody Thompson on offense. Head coach Josh Anderson says his team gained some confidence both from last year's playoff run and their offseason commitments. We've made sure and went to an East River football camp, East River team camp. We went down to SDSU for, well, we've been there three summers in a row, not counting this summer. They didn't have anything this summer. Um, but we made sure and go to that just so we could understand, I guess, a little bit more of the physicality that we were dealing with going east. Lemon McIntosh opens their season Friday against Mott Regent, North Dakota. Canastota Freeman is the reigning Class 9A champion and unanimous number one in the prep media preseason poll. Howard, Gregory, DeSmit, and Sully Buttes round out the top five. Canastota Freeman has captured back-to-back -back Class 9A championships and six titles since 2010. The Pride capped an 11-1 season with last November's 46-34 win against Britton Heckla. Canastota Freeman returned six or seven starters, including Tice Ortman, who tallied 202 yards total and three touchdowns in the finals. Pride have plenty of senior leadership, but head coach James Strang will have to replace quarterback Trey Ortman. For us, it's always about identifying what our key players are and what we can do. You know, our system has has adapted, uh, but hasn't changed. You know, every fun, everything fundamentally is still there. We just adapt to the people we can put on the field and and try and roll from there. Uh, our motto, our motto is do what we do and see what happens. Canastota Freeman begins its quest for a three-peat Friday against Chester area. Britton Heckla fell to Canastota Freeman in the 9A championship game a year ago. The Braves will have plenty of talent to replace with just eight total starters back. They'll also be playing under new head coach in Jacob Skogstad, who previously was an assistant in Elkton. Skogstad says he'll use a lot of the same concepts the Braves used in past years with just a few tweaks. In years past, they've been more of a gap sound running offense. Um, I'm more of a zone run scheme guy. So um, running backs aren't looking for that set hold. They're just looking for any open daylight to get through. Britton Heckla has a week zero bye, but will face Waverly South Shore in week one. Six down, one to go. We'll preview Class 9B, including defending champion Coleman Egan, next.